Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another exciting update. Guys, all you Android users out there, fellow Android users, congratulations guys. Today we've been the thing that we've been waiting for is finally here. Uh, the Unreal VCAM is supported in the Unreal Engine 5.4. And so what you see here is uh, the Unreal Engine 5.4 in this scene that I created uh, using motion capture data. And you can see it playing back in real time, <laughs> right? And uh, off to the right hand side here, you can see the my phone is being uh, shown on the screen. I hope you can see that. All right. So the way you find the VCAM for Android uh, is go to your let's go back to the home page over here go to the play store on your phone right there and just do a quick search up at the top search for the unreal engine and it's gonna show up as vcam right there okay and uh, let's go ahead and install it. i've actually not installed it so i wanted to walk you through the whole process let's go ahead and click install and wait for it to finish installing <laughs> so i had this scene and as you can see it has like some camera shake that has been added and this originally was a scene that was in the unreal engine 5.3 right so let me go ahead and open the app now that has it has installed and then i'll walk you through the process all right so once you finish installing it just click on open and then it's gonna open up like that it's in a landscape mode all right so we are ready to connect it right but before we connect it i wanted to walk you something real quick so the way this project started off it was in uh, the unreal engine 5.3 over here and i was able to port to the unreal engine 5.4 by opening launching unreal engine 5.4 and then uh, making a copy of that so if there was a number of plugins that were not compatible with 5.4 so I had to disable them so I could run this project, right? And as you notice, all of you, there was that they announced 5.4. So you can already go ahead and install it from this uh, link right here. Click on install. You find it here as uh, 5.4. Go ahead and install that. So this is an update that came with uh, 5.4. So I'll do a test with 5.3, but today let me just, I'm testing with our uh, 5.4 to see how it well it works with Android. So here we have it. So there are several things that you need to do. Uh, make sure you go to plugins over here in your projects. Go to plugins. And up at the top, make sure you look for virtual camera. V T virtual. And it's gonna be down here. So virtual camera. And make sure that it's checked up here and mine is checked so if it's not checked make sure you check it so that it works so you have to enable virtual camera core and virtual camera both of those two right and when you're done with that then you need to go to your project settings right uh, scroll all the way down look for udp messaging over here and make sure you enter you drop the drop down here will have uh, your ip address so I'm picking my IP address. There will be you will start off with a like a zero zero like that, but then go ahead and pick your IP address, which I picked over here. And the way you find your IP address, a quick way to find it is on your Windows. I'm using Windows 10. Uh, you see this uh, network access right here. As long as it's uh, if you're using a router, and I'm using a router, so make sure you have you're using the same uh, Wi-Fi connection on your phone uh, with the router as well. So I'm going to click over here, go to network, click on network two over here, and then click on network two again. And so IP settings are going to be over here. So scroll down and look for the IP for IPv4 address. That's the most important one. And that's, that one should match the IP address that you see when you click on the UDP messaging. Okay, so go ahead and pick that IP address and uh, that's it. Press close for now. Okay, so in order to add a camera, you just click on the plus, uh, quickly add to the project button over here. Go to virtual production and add a VCAM. 
right? So but before we add the VCAM, I wanted to walk you something, walk through, I wanted to walk you through something real quick. So you see in my scene here, it, uh, it, I'm gonna move, scale this up a tiny bit so you can see the sequence. And you can see I added a camera and on that camera, there's a camera component with camera shake. So the value of this, uh, the VCAM is essentially to be able to do exactly what the camera shake is doing right here, right? To be able to hold, hand hold your camera, go around the actors as they are fighting over here. I want to get like some multiple shots that then I can combine into these uh, on, the, on the sequence over here. So I'm definitely going to need to disable my camera here because I, I want to use the new one, the VCAM. But you can see how it has like that subtle like motion over here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick out of this camera. So now we have the scene as you can see it with the characters and we're going to put our camera like around here, the VCAM, so that we can then start piloting it. Uh, so I'm going to go to this uh, quickly add project, go to virtual production over here, add VCAM, and then we're going to put it right here. Okay, so the moment you do that, it's going to, this whole interface is going to change into this, <laughs> right? And over here, let me go ahead and uh, do a quick connection, enter your IP address. No, actually, we're going to use this one. So now it has connected. Let me go back to this over here. So it's gonna uh, allow you give it, it's gonna ask you to give it permission. So go, go ahead uh, while I'm using the app. So you can see like exactly what I see in the scene is what you see over here as well, which is amazing, right? And so this is um let me move this over here so that you can actually see a little, little bit better. All right, so as I am moving my phone, you can see us looking at the, the guys who are fighting over here. <laughs> we are in the phone. All right, so what I need to do is, let me see if I can, just, uh, just a second, let's kick out of this, the VCAM. And so if I stand up, right, I'm going to stand up for a second and then I'm going to be able to walk around so you can actually see us because now the camera is on the ground. We need to walk around the characters. So let me stand up for a second so we can look at the characters a little bit more. And this is the amazing thing is that this is like virtual production using an Android phone in the Android Engine 5.4. So I'm standing up now and then they've added an, this amazing guide on the screen. So double tap to focus on that character. And so it has, it walks you through the process and then, all right, let me click on uh, skip for this part. All right, now we can actually track the camera uh, characters over there and we can use the joystick. Like I'm gonna see if I can zoom out, like go up and down on the screen, like right here using your thumb. So depending on the shot that you're trying to do, move up just a tiny bit. And then you can double pinch like this. You can rotate around. So now we have a different camera angle. So that is the beauty of this, uh, the new plugin <laughs> that they've made for the Android uh, phones. And I'm using my S22, uh, my Samsung S22 Ultra. And so it's amazing. This is really, really cool that you can do this. And up in the top uh, right corner over here, we have the record button. So as I am recording this, let me see if I can actually move in a little bit more. And let's zoom in a tiny bit more, like frame it like right here. So there they go. they're going at it. Right. So now this is where you take over as a, a director and you start, you know, imagine like, you know, you're, <laughs> you're able to get a different like shots like this. Rotate around like that, even without uh, getting up, I can still rotate around. 
right? And see our fighters over there. So when you're ready, you just have to press record up in the top right corner over there. It has you have some additional settings in there, but let me bring back the uh, over here so you can see the same thing. So for layouts, let me do like a two window layout. And in this layout, I want to show the perspective because I want to be able to move that VCAM. So I'm going to look for the VCAM actor over here. And then in this here, let me see if I can find it. So the VCAM actor is way over there. way over here so you can see that so in order for you to really to record it to this sequence you would need to disable one of these cameras and add it to so let me actually duplicate this sequence because i don't want to destroy this duplicate this double click on it uh, press save all all right so in this one i'm gonna remove the camera that is there and then we're going to add the VCAM actor before we, re we press record. Add the VCAM actor. Okay. And we're going to look through it. So now I can go back over here. So the VCAM actor is part of this uh, sequence that has the animation. So if I play back, you can see it over there. All right, now that we can see the VCAM, I can rewind. And we're going to delete this right here because we need to assign a new camera cut to the VCAM actor. Okay, so now we're looking through the VCAM actor that is on the sequence with all our animation right there. And this is the fun part. So you can see the aperture over here you can see so you can still adjust over here before you start recording right so as I am looking through the VCAM right now I can see the scene right there and it's preferable I mean you can do unlit to get like better frame rate so you have like a better you know up uh, uh, performance so anyway guys that's what I wanted to show you is that uh now we have an Android version of the VCAM that is supported by Android that you can use to record your fighting sequences, your short films, you name it, right? <laughs> so as always, guys, I'm always trying to find ways that uh, we can, you know, tools that we can use to tell our stories convincingly and efficiently and of course affordably. <laughs> so this is one of those uh, solutions that anybody that has an Android phone is able to use that to record their sequence that is in the Unreal Engine and be able to create like multiple cuts and add that nice subtle, you know, like handheld feel to the performance. Like, you know, as the character is punching, like, you know, so you, you take on you that the role of a director, like really, this is like awesome, awesome virtual production, guys. So thank you for joining me today. As always, guys, dare to dream big. Never, ever give up on your dream. As always, stay safe. Much love to you all. Bye for now.